What is a photon? According to quantum physics, a photon is an elementary particle that makes up light and the quantum of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation, emitted or absorbed by matter. It is also defined as an indivisible particle that moves at the speed of light. Light comes in packets called photons. However, its structure cannot be detected with the naked eye. Photons are the carrier particles for all forms of electromagnetic radiation, not just light. These include X-rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet light, infrared light, visible light, microwaves, and radio waves. The mass of a photon is equal to zero, which implies that it has no mass and no electric charge. Who discovered photon? The first studies on photons date back to the 17th century, when Isaac Newton argued that light was made up of particles. During those times, the particle wave duality was not clear at all. In fact, some staunch rivals of Isaac Newton, such as Huygens, argued that light was made up of waves. Years later, Albert Einstein resumed research on photons based on what other researchers such as Max Planck had discovered. However, Einstein approached the study from a more modern conception that tried to explain why light could not behave exclusively as a wave. In his studies, Einstein managed to show that light was composed of quantum particles that behaved, depending on the material or its frequency, like waves or particles. In fact, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Science in 1921, precisely for his work in investigating the behavior of photoelectric phenomena. Actually, it was in the year 1926 when the term photon was coined for the first time. The person in charge of giving it this name was Gilbert Newton Lewis, and its etymology comes from the Greek light. Since then, the term photon has been accepted by the scientific community. How fast do photons travel? It was also Einstein who said that nothing could travel faster than the speed of light. However, in quantum terms anything can be possible. So what would happen if we isolated a photon in a vacuum and tried to make it go as fast as possible? Could this single photon possibly travel faster than the speed of light? This is precisely what some scientists at the Hong Kong University of Technology asked themselves. They were supported by preliminary research that suggested that, in the right environment, superluminal propagation exceeding the speed of light could occur. However, everything turned out to be a mirage. In the experiments, it was clearly demonstrated that an isolated photon in a vacuum always travels at the speed of light, without exceeding it. And that in the case of some medium that slows down the passage of light, there is a delay of nanoseconds. Can you see a photon? Another interesting question about photons is, can they be seen with the naked eye? How many photons are necessary for the human eye to capture them? Some researchers affirm that between one and three photons are enough for them to be captured by the human being. This happens thanks to elements called bastions that are found in the retina of the eyes. However, these same researchers confirm that it is more of a sensation than something clearly visible. What are photons used for? There are many applications that photons have today, especially in technology. The study of photons has led to important advances, both in theoretical and experimental physics. Examples are found with lasers, quantum field theory, the Bose-Einstein condensate, among others. They have also been used in photochemistry, in high-resolution microscopy and in the measurement of molecular distances, 